it's really valuable to be able to get in, to get messy, to get dirty. And we do get flour on our apron, and that's sort of the point. Life is messy, and we're all here doing it together, trying to work it out together, and baking is, is our vehicle. And it's just a way to get in and work out whatever you need to work out. A lot of our students, I think, find that comforting, that if they put in enough hard work, you get something beautiful out of it. It's so inspirational to be able to see that at the end, to pull your pie out of the oven and see, wow, I created that. Baking is an easy way to bring women together. And it's sort of the equalizer. I mean, we bring in women from various backgrounds who have experienced lots of different things, and you put them together over a batch of cookies, and everybody finds common ground. And we're dealing with students that are trying to make real life change. And so being able to do that from day one is really important. Plus, it smells really good. The mental transition you have to go through from being laid off three times from three different companies. I survived that, but for some reason, I wasn't able to bounce back from this final layoff. I was getting rejected for jobs. I'm like, McDonald's won't even hire me. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? Now I'm homeless. I have a 20-year-old daughter who's in college. She wants to become a nurse. I'm the breadwinner. All these things was going through my head. These women that come through our program are the heads of their households. And so if we don't empower them, if we don't help them find jobs, then they become just a part of a system that's very, very broken. I could be a huge asset for someone. So that's what we're gonna focus on. She's molding us so we can be the best that we can when we transition over into employment, re-employment. We are really looking to help these women find careers and that helps them become more economically stable. It increases their job prospects. We have a life skills and professional development part where we focus on self-esteem, where we focus on communication skills, where we do resume building and cover letter writing. We do mock interviews. We really prepare our students personally to enter any career of their choosing. And then we do the baking part. That is very hands-on. We have workshops, we have industry professionals come in and teach our students. So we're putting a little bit of cornstarch in there to hold on to the moisture. These are highly motivated women who want to bake. So I am so happy to be able to share knowledge with them. So you can see the stage as it goes through. They can't go to school in France, but I can go for them and then teach them what I learned there so they can catapult themselves in a way that without some sort of education they might not be able to do. This is a very popular chef. And I didn't have to go to a fancy college to get that. I got it right here in Flowered Apron. When I first decided to start this organization, I assumed I would be working with women who didn't have much hope. And it's quite the opposite. The women who come through here are so hopeful about the future. They come here and they're dedicated to what they're doing and they are so ready to change their lives that it's inspiring to me every day. I feel so much positivity, like I have the opportunity of getting back out into the workforce and, and showing individuals what I'm able to do and how it could be a big asset to their company because of what I learned here at Flower April. I was ready to spread my wings and fly. I'm on my way to that, that level of success that I've been dying for for such a long time. My goal in the next five years is to run, operate my own business. You gotta put in that hard work to get to become that success. So now, you know, you take that to heart because when it's all said and done, that hard work pays off. <laughs>